It's Thursday, March 14th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, a new twist in the case of Atlas, the golden retriever kidnapped from a Kelowna home Saturday. The dog was returned to its rightful owner, the Galt family, by police Wednesday afternoon. But now the man who had possession of the dog says he deserves the $5,000 reward offered for its return. The man claims he got the dog from Taylor Galt's ex-girlfriend after putting two and two together. He claims the family offered him $1,000 but said they couldn't afford the rest. But the Galt family says they didn't want to pay the man because they believe he was involved in the dog napping. The discovery of endangered mussels in much of the Okanagan could have a severe impact on future beach quality throughout the region. Rocky Mountain ridged mussels were found in the Vernon Arm of Okanagan Lake and subsequent surveys have found the native species all the way south to a Soyuz. There are, or these are not the same as invasive zebra and quagga mussels, but they could have a severe impact all the same, rendering some beaches virtually unswimmable. That's because the Okanagan Basin Water Board may have to curtail its milfoil control program so as not to harm the mussels. Penticton RCMP turning to the public for help identifying a pair of suspects in a theft at a residential parkade. Police say they entered the parkade Wednesday and uh, grabbed some items but left them behind when they were apparently spooked by someone who was in the parkade as well. Police are releasing surveillance footage of the suspects in the hope the public can identify them. The former bookkeeper of a Kelowna organization who's accused of stealing $1.8 million has lobbed back accusations at her former employer. Last November, Access Human Resources Inc. filed a civil suit against Carrie Earle and her bookkeeping company, CE Business Services, alleging she misappropriated more than a million dollars between 2005 and 2018. In a response filed late last month, Earl denies she stole, misappropriated, or embezzled any money, but adds that if she did, which she denies, then Access Resources Director Cliff Andrusco knew about it. WestJet has reached out to Castanet to let us know that in spite of Transportation Canada's grounding of all Boeing 737 MAX 8 and 9 aircraft effective yesterday, over 92% of its fleet is still operating as usual. A company executive says the airline is complying with the decision and have taken steps to ground its fleet of 13 MAX aircraft. Arvid von Sir Mullen says while there may be some interruptions, you can book with confidence knowing that WestJet continues to fly throughout our network with the safety of guests and employees at the forefront. Canada's only automated sailing plan app for small vessel safety is about to be launched across the country. LRC Consulting Solutions, based in Kelowna, has been awarded a two-year search and rescue new innovation fund grant of nearly $600,000 to create the new sailing plan mobile app and dashboard to meet regulatory and safety requirements for small commercial vessels. Police got more than they bargained for while watching over an eviction at a home on Mission Hill in Vernon. Constable Kelly Brandt says after the occupants left the home, numerous items that were suspected as property obtained by crime and illicit drugs were spotted by police while on the scene. A large number of items, including suspected stolen tools, new small appliances, illicit drugs and a prohibited weapon were all seized. The occupants could face numerous charges. City of Vancouver says it's opened more than 2,000 case files and taken enforcement action against 820 suspected unauthorized short-term rentals since new rules came into effect requiring operators have a business license. Mayor Kennedy Stewart says he's encouraged by the early results of enforcement since the program came into effect in September. A Penticton man has been found guilty of exposing himself to a 13-year-old boy who was playing in a park last year. It's his second conviction for a flashing incident in the city. 66-year-old David Ernest Friesen was convicted Thursday morning of one count of committing an indecent act in public, exposing oneself to a person under 16 for a sexual purpose and two counts of failing to comply with probation. 
Friesen remains behind bars pending numerous pre-sentence reports. The Sensi Houston House of Learning Elementary School on West Bank First Nation land is going solar. The band announced it has received a $150,000 grant to help build a rooftop solar farm on the school. The band estimates that it will save about $12,000 a year on utility costs once the solar farm is operational later this year. Okanagan weather partly cloudy overnight, lows to minus 2, sunshine and plus 7 on Friday. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, it's Pi Day across the world. And we'll tell you how Okanagan elementary schools stack up. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.